Hello, Monsters of Banter, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, and part 13 of my Belagar campaign. Every 13 episodes are unlucky for someone, and currently it's unlucky for poor Ozpin. Bloody Kane down here. Of course, Ozpin was the name I gave to... I think he was actually a Rune Lord originally in my um, Ungrim campaign. And he was the antithesis of Chaos. He basically went and kicked the shit out of Archeon by himself. I think he tanked like three or four armies of Chaos Warriors just by himself. Just fucked them all up. I think he I think he died. No, he, he was defeated. But I think he, he faced off against three stacks, maybe three or four stacks of Chaos Warriors at the same time. Along with an Empire army. The Empire army was no fucking help. But we managed to basically wipe out, I think, two stacks... And maul a further two, which then basically saved Kislev and uh, led to us then reforming his army and going back to kick the shit out of Archaon. However, it's unlucky for him at the moment because he's currently under siege by... Wor well, you, by Wurzag. There's Wurzag down there. Under siege by him. But that's generally okay. Not too much of a problem because as long as we can hold out... Now, we will start taking casualties in four turns. However, if Wurzag attacks, the worst thing that's going to happen is that, well, we, I mean, we've got lots of lots of longbeards. We've got thunderers. We've got uh, a grudge thrower. We've also got uh, yet more quarrelers and longbeards and all that kind of... So basically, it's going to be an absolute... In my opinion, it's going to be a slaughter and not one that's going to favour Wurzag. Now, I do... Shall I give you the silver horn event? It's 12... I don't really think that's a good good use, is it? It's not really a good use. I'm going to give you a little bit more public order. In income. Um, have a teller of tales. You can tell some tales or something. Um, what I do want to do is recycle this. Wait, do we have two? Because I didn't I give one to... Hang on. Uh, oh, you got the Ring of Grimnir. That's right. You got that. You've got a Seed of Rebirth, which is fine. Which means you can have the good Talisman. You can have a Talisman of Preservation. You've got a Stabby Pickaxe. That works. Um, do I want... Yeah, okay. You've got that. You've got that. We've still got some grudges, which is a bit of a problem. Um, public order's not looking great in certain locations because of um, our, our, our confederation with Barak Var. However, that did give us a lot more lot more territory, so I think it was well worth it. Um, ideally, we want to confederate with some more dwarf factions, like Carrick Hearn over here is looking quite quite good. Um, we could potentially get like a nice little confederation with them. Let us feast and drink. That would give us even more territory across these mountains here. Now, um, we do, of course, have like the Vlad von Karstein. Are we at war with him? Mm. Not yet. Yet being the operative word, because it looks like Vlad is doing quite well for himself. However, he has lost quite a lot of territory recently, I believe. Nope, he's still got 16 settlements. Oh, uh, well. Shut me up. But they kind of spread out, so I don't know if he can hold on to them or what's going to happen there. He is at war with quite a few different factions, but not weirdly the Reichland. So they're still... Is there is quite a lot of vampiric corruption here, which isn't helping them. But the public order's fine because of buildings, apparently. So, obviously, they got some good buildings. Lovely buildings. Lovely buttresses. I love a good buttress. Okay, the Reichland and Hockland have confederated. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, I have to be careful here because... All right, raiding, raiding, fine, fine, fine. Because if we move within range of Wurzag, then what he will do is he will attack us. So he can move to about there. So if I go here, I'm still out of range, and I can just then rush in to help out. Right, Finn, I meant to rename you, forgot. Finn, you're being more killy. We got Hergag. Yeah, well, you didn't, did you? Fucked it. Absolutely fucked it. Never mind. Right, now, public order down here is generally fine, mostly because of our military presence and characters. Because we are... Well, who's, who, hang on, who's raiding us? Who's bloody raiding us? Regional raiding. Oh, you cheeky little motherfucker. And over the... Oh, no. Stone Mine Tower. No. Unless... Can we... What does this look like? Oh. Our garrison's fucked. 
And oh, of course it's fucked. Of course it is, because every time you confederate, if, unless you're the AI, of course. Because if you're the AI, nah, it doesn't matter, does it? Okay, let's let's go and do our quest battle over here. Um, I'm half tempted to like raise an army here, but I don't know if it will. No, it will, it will cost too much. It'll cost too much. Oops, click the wrong button. Okay, that's probably. If we lose, if we lose two mine tower, are we going to? I think Barak Var is our trading port. I think that's where trade comes from. I don't actually know because it could be that because there's no roads here it might be that stone mine tower is is our trading port because it might be that actually you connect to Matorka here and then up to Akendorf because the trading system Warhammer right fuck it who knows Hon honest to god that it's, it makes no bloody sense the majority of the time there's no point trying to second guess it because good luck I'm worried if we lose Stone Mine Tower, we're going to lose a lot of money. I mean, it's not we, we can always get it back, but it could be a problem. Well, shit. Guess we're going to find out. Oh, you're attacking. You're attack. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm. Despite the fact our garrison's fucked, I'm still fairly confident we should be. Oh, Grimgore's here, as well as Greebit's bootlicker, and they've got a spider. I'm still fairly confident. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to be bringing my A-game this episode. I'm making some major mistakes. Now, the, the first thing to say is that I'd completely forgotten that our garrison gets fucked when we confederate, which is annoying because I'm, I'm like 90% sure the AI doesn't have that happen to them. I'm, I'm almost positive that the AI will always end up with a full garrison regardless of whether they confederate or not. I mean, when they confederate. When we confederate, our garrison's instantly wiped out, which takes time to regenerate, and that, of course, causes us some major issues. So... We're trying to deal with the Savage Orcs, but unfortunately they are heading up. We've got a, a, a Thane here. He is fairly dinked, um, but we're going to try that. We've got a little defensive formation here. So we've got the long beards either side of the gate. And then the front of the gate, we've got a cannon. Just the one, unfortunately. I was hoping for a whole sort of like battery of them, but we've got one. Basically, the idea, as soon as stuff comes through the gate, the cannon starts shooting it. Now, I've kind of fucked up here because I've put the, the grudge throwers... I should have moved them to the right slightly because they've, they're kind of hitting this little tower and that's not what we want. We wanted we wanted to get good kills here. Unfortunately, this, this angle is terrible. This is, this is a bad angle for us. Um, I should have put them over here or over here, basically, because this is where the blob of the orcs is going to come. We're surrounded. That's, that's poor showing by me. I'm going to hold my hands up and say that was just fucking stupid of me. Trolls are kicking the gate down, and in they come. We've got Longbeards, backed up by Ozpin Kane himself. He's going to try and hold the line. Will he be able to? Now, anywhere where you're getting, like, large blobs of things like uh, cavalry and monsters, the AI will tend to just sit them outside the gate. Missile units can be quite good there, but basically, as soon as they come in, as soon as they're, like, attacking, you can, your missile units aren't doing anything. At that point, you want to break... Don't, like, don't, don't do what I do and try and, like, sit them on the back of the wall here. Bring them inside, either side, and just, like, just use this killing zone. This is a killing zone. Use it. Your, your missile units on the walls, they're just, like, you feel like that should be the good place for them, don't you? You feel like that, that should be a good position for them to be in. It's not. It's terrible. Get them off the fucking wall. It's a terrible place for them to be. Um, it really does just screw them over. The cannons aren't working out as well as I'd wanted them to, unfortunately. They are getting some kills. They are bapping some trolls. They're doing a little bit of damage there, but it's not as much as I'd like. And we're sort of holding the line here, but it's... We're being ground down slowly. This I mean, this is where I'd want the artillery. Unfortunately, I've tried to move my artillery, but some Savage Orc Biggins have broken off, and my I have no units to fend them off, so our artillery is gone. Massive waste there. We could have been killing so many Savage Orcs here. I've, I've, 
all of the good tactics I said, do this, it's really good. I'm, I'm just now ignoring my own advice. And that is why this battle is going to be a fucking mess. The Ratnox spider's climbing through and uh, really should have... You can see my... You can see my crawlers up there. A couple of them are shooting down. But really what I should have been doing is bringing these crawlers either side. That would have been a far better strategy to have brought them in. Not doing that. Um, that's a mistake. Weirdly, like small units, as long as the units can like turn around, they're actually not too bad on the wall. But large units like this, bring them down. Don't keep them up on the wall. It's a terrible idea. I mean, we, we, we're doing... We're doing some damage, but as you can see, we, we started off with more than they had, but we are losing losing numbers quite rapidly. We've got flanks here because our Thane died. Uh, he did his best, but didn't quite get it. The cannon is still firing as quickly as possible, but it's, it's, only, it's only racked up 17 kills, unfortunately. It's uh, not doing as well as I would like. The rest of our artillery has been wiped out, and that means that the road to our city centre is now open. So basically this battle is, uh, in my opinion, pretty much over at this point because we are running out of units, we've got nothing to stop them, and worst of all, of course, Grimgore turned up. And I've got nothing that can stop Grimgore. Grimgore is an absolute murder train. He will just hack his way through everything, and we have nothing. That guy lost his head. I mean, Grimgore will just murder his way through all of this and laugh. And there's very little we can do to stop him. The only thing that could potentially knock him out is, is our Thunderers. Maybe. And we've only got one unit of them. So likelihood of getting them in position to kill him, very, very low. We've done a fair chunk of damage here. Uh, the cannon is racking up some kills. Getting some, getting some shots off there. But it's just not going to be enough, unfortunately. We're going to be overwhelmed fairly shortly. I'm going to try and get these missile units down. Again, this is what I should have done. Should have brought them down. That would have been a lot more that would have been a lot more effective which is exactly what i've done here as you can see our missile units are now off the wall and now we can actually start doing some damage holy shit look at that they're actually shooting shooting into these black orcs who are oh god there comes some black orcs straight into the rear of our long beards oh no i mean ospin not he's just i mean the, the, the fanatics are probably going to help us more than anything else they actually smashed their way through the Black Orcs doing some significant damage. So thanks, Fanatics. That's actually incredibly useful. Off goes the war. The Quarrelers are going to try and deal with the Black Orcs. And they should be fairly effective at this, but it's just too little too late at this point. Had we brought them down earlier, we might have actually been able to uh, break the units on this flank. I mean, over here, we've managed to pull the crossbows off. And you can see we're now starting to whittle down these big blobs of uh, infantry. This is what we should have been doing from the start. This is what we should have been doing from the start, and we weren't. The Thunderers... Now, the Thunderers here are actually not too bad, but again, if I'd brought them down off the wall... For some reason, putting them on a wall, the, the, the missile units just don't fire as often. I don't know why. Try doing it with, like, Slingers. Slingers seem, seem so much worse for some reason. I don't know why, but the Slingers just... Uh, you put Skaven, Skaven Slingers up on a wall, they don't do fucking anything. And I don't know why. Bring them off the wall. That's all I can say. Just don't... Missile units on the wall, bad idea. You can see, we're actually starting to whittle them down now. We've brought these guys. Like 42 kills, 33 kills. This is what we should have been... Look how many Black Orcs are dead. This is what we should have been doing from the start. Unfortunately, it's too little too late. The city centre's already fallen. It's uh, saving... I mean, Ospin is still holding the line. But he's not going to be there for very... They're basically just ignoring us now. They're just smashing their way towards the city center now we have managed to kill quite a significant portion of the enemy troops but it's not going to be enough and we're going to lose this look how much if i still have my artillery oh can you imagine oh just how much dead there would be here these green i mean they're so packed in we could have just been smashing them with rocks it would have been amazing don't know what i was done to stop grimgore mind He's up to 89 kills, and I don't think anything's going to be slowing him down anytime soon. With the missile units off the wall, you can see, actually, the tide has turned here. We've actually managed to um, whittle them down quite significantly. They're actually breaking. Uh, we've knocked out the trolls. That's now looking much better. If we'd had that from the get-go, probably, probably would have won this battle, actually. I'm, I, I feel like if I had another go at this battle, then I could probably win it. And I did go, should I restart the episode? And I was like, nah, I don't usually like doing that. I feel like if I've lost a battle, then, you know, hands up, fair's fair, I've lost it.
That Ratnarok spider almost down, but just not quite. And now it's in our quarrelers. And uh, yeah, you, you don't you don't want a giant spider in your quarrelers. It's uh, it's the worst place to have a giant spider. Trust me. Ozpin still holding the line, but unfortunately, the line is now looking decidedly decidedly thin. The Orc War boss is going to get shot to pieces. He's down. But it's uh, too little too late, unfortunately. Grimgore's here as well with 102 kills. And uh, he's just going to... We, we still have a few long beards left, but we now have less than 400. I mean, to be fair, they've only got the double the number we have. Unfortunately, one of those is Grimgore. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Hmm, a few screw-ups there that led to our defeat, unfortunately. Hey, well, it is, it is episode 13. It's going to be unlucky for someone. It's not Wurzag. He's got glittering scales. Now, that's a bit of a bugger, but Gimply is on his way. And once Belagar's got his shield, we can send him over as well. So, I mean, generally, it should be fine. Now, um, we didn't lose our trade, which is good, but I do need an army over there to try and pacify those greenskins because they're getting a little bit uppity. And uh, I don't... Oh, hello. Yeah, I'll take your trade. And I don't want them just rampaging through my territory. That's going to be annoying. Did Ozpin die or is he okay? No, he's dead. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Right. For the wisdom of the layer, by the grudge bearer's will. Now, you took a bit of a beating. And for some reason, Grimgore decided to wander straight towards Gimply. I don't 100% know why. But I guess... I, I, I guess... I guess... I guess... Oh, there we go. Um... So Gimply's got some more stuff. Good for him. We did take quite a lot of damage to the Dragon Black Sayers, though. So... Tell you what, let's do a little ambush. See if we can lure them in. We're going to get Deadly Blade there. See, this is a problem, because they're heading in this direction, and I don't like that. And I really want to do that quest battle, but... I need to put a stop to them rampaging. We can always teleport over later. I think I need to get over there. I think I need to get over the ASAP, so we'll, we'll go and do that. Um, now, we did lose an army, so I could raise an army here. Let's get a rune, lords. Why can't I get you? Oh, because you were here and I got rid of you. Fine. Um, yeah, you're level 7 anyway, so Bosch. You're going to be Ozpin... Two. The Ozpin strikes, but a cut doesn't fit. Ozpin two. That'll do. Fine. Good. Um, makes you me to psychology. Not that useful, be honest. I mean, this is quite good though. So we'll go that. Go that. We'll do that. Um, sure. Okay. An inspiring presence, Bosch. Fine. Now we can get some of them. I could get some giant slayers. Do I want giant slayers? I don't know if I do. I'll tell you what I do want is like some rangers or quarrelers. Quarrelers have more. Fuck it. We'll do that. Right. I'm hoping we can get together some sort of force to hold back the ever Now, I really wanted to do that quest battle, but um, unless we can teleport and do it now. I don't think we can because we're underway. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. What else are we going to do? Let's upgrade you. Let's get some more cash. Okay, good. We've got the defences up here. So we do need to try and fend this off. Now, these I don't think this has defences... Well... Doc Karaz does have a level of defences, but it's no way going to stop that. So there's, there's literally no point even fighting that battle should it happen. Can we just... I... Oh, insufficient funds. Right. Yeah. Can I cancel? 
Uh, I don't need the lumber yard. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's tr let's try. It's, it's not a great chance, but oh, we did it. It'll damage them a little bit. Keep them keep them busy. Let's grab uh, Dwarven Emissaries. Nah, hero action cost. Meh. Increase speed. Upkeep reduction for long. We got a lot of long beards, so let's do that. I mean, we had more. Now we've got less. Oh well. And uh, we'll make you a foe seeker. Lovely. Now, if was Now, I don't know what is going to do. But if he wanders off, then we can retake Bitterstone Mine. Maybe. Now, this see, this is a problem because there's a cut. Oh. Deathmaster Snitch is back as well. Ugh, when it rains it pours. Okay, I don't know where Wurzag's gone. I mean, it's not a big deal. Has he yes, wandered over here? I mean, obviously we'll just murder them and occupy that. It's going to give us a little more oath gold as well, so that's quite nice. Okay, where the fuck's Wurzag gone? Where the fuck has Wurzag gone? So you've gone to resettle that. Okay, well that's going to that's give me a little bit of time. Now it does look like the dwarves. Grom Brindle is heading down to deal with the rats, which is quite nice. It's going to keep them busy. I'm I'm kind of torn between... Are you at war with the greenskins? Yes. The fact they've gone after that one is super useful. That means I can come down here and reinforce the garrison. Let's get some of you. Some of you, despite the fact that's ridiculously expensive. And you. Let's do something like that. So they're not going to attack for a couple of turns. That gives us a little bit of time. It's not a lot of time, but it's something. I'm... I'm tempted to go Axe Lord. I'm tempted... Let's go intercept. You actually took a lot more damage than I thought you would, which is less than ideal. I'm hoping that they will deal with that. I mean, underweighing isn't actually that much better than just walking. So we're going to walk over here. And then, what? in fact, we're going to walk over here. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to teleport over to do that quest battle. But I don't have enough money to do that. Fine. Fine. Okay, I'm going to cancel you. And then we're going to tell... I mean, we can then... Because we'll get some money for winning the quest battle anyway. And then, of course, we can go and do the... Um, or we, I think we'll do... Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, get some we'll get some money from, from the battle, won't we? So then we can, you know, do, do that. Good. Yes, we're going to teleport. Ooh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of greenies, isn't it? Ah, should be fine. Yes, my kin. Today is a great day. Today we kill Urx. Today is vengeance. Even now a throng from Karakazal approaches the green filth from the rear. We are honored to drain the orcs from the front. Let them face our might! 
Let them see what Dawi of the Angron clan are made of! I've gotta say, this map is cool as shit. I've never seen this before. I guess this must be unique to to this quest battle, which is a shame. Because it's it just looks really nice. Like there's some really nice lighting over here. I mean I guess the thing is they did this one after Because all of the underway maps, at least I think most of them, except the Skaven ones, of course. Most of the underway maps were made for Warhammer 1, weren't they? And this, of course, would be made after, when they probably would have got their feet on the table a bit more about, you know, what, what was going where. Okay, so we've got the spiny face smasher attacking Belagar. That is a terrible fucking idea. Don't know why you'd want to do that. So he's going to get his ass kicked very, very quickly. Yep, he's already down to half health. Belagar is, is murdering his face. He's pretty much going to be down. Reinforcements coming from behind. Yeah, I kind of expected that would be the case. So Jacob is rushing back to fend that off. Um... Some fanatics doing a little bit of damage to the Soul Breakers. That's going to sting. Never mind. And uh, Robert, he was fighting off some Goblin Wolf Riders. He's now rushing to defend our uh, our Rock Lobbers. Our Grudge Throwers. Sorry, Grudge Throwers. Meanwhile, the rest of the Orc Army is, well, being completely annihilated, as is tradition. Now... Our allies over here have done basically nothing. Uh, a unit of Goblin Wolf Riders attacked them, and they spent most of their time trying to deal with them while I dealt with the entirety of the rest of the enemy army. So uh, that was a thing. I can see most of the enemy army now fleeing away, which means we can deal with uh, this little problem. So the Mar Marley and Marley are attacking the enemy reinforcements. They're basically the only thing holding them at bay, saving our grudge throwers. In comes Slimer as well to render some assistance. However, the Helpful Suggestioners, the, some Thunderers, we also got the Bugman's Rangers, have all turned around, and they are now going to unload into the enemy reinforcements. As soon as I saw this map, I thought, I bet enemy reinforcements are going to come from the rear. So I'd set, I'd set the ghosts up in the position where, if that was the case, then they could rush the defense of my Grudge Throwers. Just as well, really. Some of these units now shattered. So Ghost Squad is there to help out. We also got the Sky Hammer and our missile units also turned around to deal with uh, to deal with this little upset. And together they are going to easily dispatch this little horde. Yeah, off they go. Being sent packing. And our grudge throwers are 100% unscathed. Look at that. Yep, some, unit, some units come onto the battlefield and then immediately break. Off they go. Now, at this point, I was like, okay, well, I've, I've shattered the entire enemy army. And nothing seemed like that there's no victory. I, was, I looked at the victory conditions. It was literally like, destroy the enemy army. I was like, fine. I thought maybe there's like some hidden units around, but then because these guys immediately broke as soon as they came, I was like, well, surely the, the army morale's completely shattered, so where where would any hiding units be? So it's a bit non plus, and I was like, maybe it's bugged. That could be a problem. So I almost went to Google and sort of like typed in Belagar Quest Battle bug, no finish or something, and uh then suddenly, enemy reinforcements turn up. Now, I can't help but feel that um, this is that, that you know the, the, the delay on these guys is a bit extreme. Whether they didn't get the memo about what time the battle was going to be, I don't know. But they suddenly flood onto the battlefield on either flank, catching your allies. So I was like, "All right, fair enough." I mean, I'll, I'll just bring my units back to the fore, so you can see some goblin wolf riders. Launching into the Dwarf Warriors over here. I was like, my Grudge Throwers can probably... I mean, admittedly, they're probably going to crush quite a few Dwarves, but... Ah, oh well. Also, the Thunderers have spot... I mean, yeah, also the Thunderers are probably going to kill quite a few Dwarves as well. Still, that's fine. Yeah, so the last few units turn up to the battlefield from either flank. A little bit late. Like, had they turned up about... A minute ago, that might have put a little bit of an additional pressure on. As it is, they turn up literally after everyone else has already run away. At which point, you're like... I mean, good attempt, but um, 
Yeah, get turned into jam, mates. Oh, that was not too... I mean, um, the, the second wave kind of took me by surprise, but uh, other than that, we've got the Shield of Defiance, which gives more public order in the local province, more armour, more melee defence, and more ward save, and also an increase in chance in intercepting, which is actually quite nice. There we go. Shield of Defiance. Now, what does that replace? Okay, that's fine, because we had the silver armour, didn't we? And that was just like 20, 20 or more armour, so actually, extra, like, huge amounts of ward save, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Excellent. Also, Balagar gets a skill point. Um, now. I... What do I want to do here? So, we could get physical resistance for all these units. That's only at max rank, though. That is quite nice. On the other hand, I mean, Slayers are fine. I do kind of want to do that. I think that's probably going to be a better bonus though. So let's grab that one. Okay, so we've managed to do the quest battle and we're on the way to go and stop all this shenanigans. Uh, although I'm still a bit, I'm, a, I'm still concerned about the Death Master Snitch problem back there. That's, that's, that, that does not, that doesn't feel good. Need to do something about that. I'm hoping the dwarves will sort that out for me. So, fingers crossed. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, you're back. So soon? This is such a surprise. Um, I mean, you've only got the one army this time, so maybe this time will be better. Or will Gimply go the same way as Ozpin? Oh, well, one way to find out. Uh now if if our front line was at a hundred percent I might be feeling a lot better about this. As it is, that's a lot of savage or biggins. I might have been a little bit hasty. I probably shouldn't have auto resolved the previous battle. I probably should have fought it. It's one of those things where you look at a battle and you go, I don't really like like for efficiency's sake. It's, you probably should fight it, but it's like time-wise, it, it just feels like it's going to be a very quick well, not even a quick, it's going to take a little bit of time and it's going to be kind of annoying and well, they've got a lot of trolls um, yeah, okay so, I'm not I'm not feeling overly confident about this Mostly just because our front line is shit. If, if it was a little bit more tanky, I'd be feeling a lot better. We're, we're just going to have to make do, though. Fortunately, we do have Ulfar's uh, raiders, who are pretty good. Armor-piercing, pretty good. They should be able to sort of, like, deal some good damage to trolls and stuff. So I'm hoping uh, that should, they, they, they can also debuff a unit, make them, make them more um, vulnerable to missile attacks. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to. Like, artillery just needs to keep firing. That's its job. And also, our missile units need to keep firing. The missile units are going to win this. If our infantry can just hold the, the green skin tied at bay long enough, then our missile units can hopefully. I mean, it's a very thin line, though. It's, a, it's, it's an incredibly thin line, and it's getting thinner all the time. They're already in some of our... I, I thought the bolt throwers were like a fire directly forward kind of thing. Um, but they're not. They actually arc a bit, so I could have held them back. Never mind. I don't, I don't think I've ever used bolt throwers before. I think this might be my, my, my first time using bolt throwers. 
Okay, those axes doing a lot of damage. Those trolls, they're off, which is good. We've managed to, we've managed to break the center. Okay, if we can now just hold the flanks, we should be okay. There's a big blob of units on it. This is looking like it might be okay. We just need to keep that firing up. Um, unfortunately, these long bits, there's four of them left. Three, two, oh dear, one, and they're gone. Right, okay, we have no front line. Which means the Bugman's Rangers are now going to be our front line. Which means we're going to pull one of the units back. And uh, hopefully then they can deal with that before... Oh god, okay. This... I, I was feeling pretty confident about this. Now I'm feeling less confident. Ulthar's Rangers, they, they seem to be getting picked off by uh, the enemy archers. There's not much we can do about that. They are, they're doing as much damage as possible. What I should have done here is... Con I should have got... I should have got Gimpley to attack Wurzag. If we, can, if we could have killed Wurzag... That might be spoiling. If we could kill Wurzag, then maybe we can break it. Spoilers. <laughs> okay, we're getting some good kills here. This is quite good. The, the angle on this is actually pretty good, but it's just not good enough. Our Bugman's Rangers are going down very quickly and there's not much we can do about it. Um, our, our, our forces are shrinking. I mean, we... It's, it's close. It's, it's very close, but we just... It's just not close enough. These Savage Orc Boar Boys charging it. They've done so much damage. Um, they are such a killer unit. If they can get into the rear of a Dwarf unit, they will just do so much damage. So many of our Dwarf units are like literally so close to death. And Finn here is doing his best to deal with Wurzag. I mean, he's actually better than Wurzag in a melee. If I could just get Gimpley in here and kill Wurzag, it might have had enough of morale shock. As it is, we're just being slowly overwhelmed. And we've just run out of infantry units. This 13th episode is unlucky for some. Turns out, super unlucky for me. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, God. Some of those dwarves were airborne. That's not good. We're doing so much damage to them. I mean, so much damage, but we just, they just overwhelmed us with sheer, I mean, we had more than them, they did, but they had trolls and we just, just couldn't kill the trolls before they overwhelmed our front line, which is already battered. I might have been a bit hasty with old Gimpley here. I maybe should have held back and waited to see where Wurzag was. Oh, well. Guess I'm going to need a new army. It's unfortunate. I lose more dwarf warlords that way. Thanes, warlord, what are they? Yeah, that guy. Oh, Gimpley. You had one job, not die. It's not that hard, is it? Maybe it is. Okay, well, fine. Guess I need a new army. One with an untwistable stomach. And maybe more guns. Yeah. Let's get more guns. Okay. So we got some issues. The issues are that the dwarves, Kazakarak, have helpfully fucking legged it. Given the choice between dealing with the Skaven threats, which is a bunch of slaves, or actually just turning around and buggering off, they picked the latter. You assholes. Now, Wurzag's army is, is beaten up. I, I think Belagar's going to have to turn back. I think Belagar's going to have to turn back. What we do need... At least, like, small mercies, at least we have shit tons of money. So that's something. I suspect there might be an army ambushing out here, so I'm not going to wander into that. Let's get some... Oh, should we get some cannons? That's two turns to recruit. I don't think we've got the time to recruit them. So, we're going to hold off. I'm going to grab you. Let's do something like that. 
Right. Now, we've got so many settlements here which don't have any kind of defences that leaving it open to Queek is just not a good idea. So we're going to have to head back and I'm going to just hope Ozpin the second can hold the north up here. Basically, I'm not too worried about this, right? It's a, it's a long way to have to travel to attack us. So they might do it, but I don't think we're any, in any immediate threat. However, the immediate threat is back here where we've got Skarsnik, uh, not Skars, Skarsnik, got Skarsnik on the blame. Death, the drain, the, 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 the uh, uh, words hard. <laughs> uh, we've got Deathmaster Snitch. We need to deal with him. Okay, so we're going to deal with him. That's fine. Um, Money-wise, we're looking pretty good because, you know, we, we got... All, wow. Episode 13. Just... It's a real humdinger, isn't it? There's me going, well, I think this game's basically over. Get my head kicked in by Deathmaster Snitch. Fuck! And Wurzag. Twice! Oh, Wurzag. Oh, you bastard. Oh... I mean, we, we totaled his army. If, if we could... If I concentrate on a killing Wurzag, we might have broken the army, but we just got wiped out before we could. It's, it's, it's the right bugger. But never mind. Uh, as you can see, his army's fucked, so he's not going to be doing much for a few turns, which gives us a little bit of respite. And then all of the settlements around here do um, have defences, apart from Crooked Moon 4, but we're going to sort that out next turn. Um, what else do we have to do? We need defences here, don't we? So, our public order should be better now. Which means we can probably tax you. Yes, we can. That's going to give us oodles more cash. That feels better, doesn't it? Ah, oh, look at all that money rolling in. Now, once we need four growth here... God, that's going to take fucking ages. I should have built growth building, shouldn't I? Fairly sure there's like loads of people going, build growth buildings. And I was going, no, nope, don't want to. Not going to do that. Um, I quite like the rangers, but... Do we need... Now, do we need the defences here? Because, like, Karak Eight Peaks, I mean... It's probably... We've pushed them back quite far. Valaya Sorrow is pretty much going to be the first thing they hit. So, I'm inclined... We'd have to knock multiple buildings down, though, wouldn't we? Mm. We do have the pastures, though. Fuck it. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Knocking that bad boy down. Uh, Karakaz, go. let's get... Let's get growth. Let's do that. Um, good. Okay. So, you know, a few knocks there. We've lost we've lost Gimply and Ozpin Kane. Um, but Ozpin the second's here. So we should be A-OK -okay once we have another army. But that'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.